Sometimes an animal owner is parted from their beloved pets. <laughs> but in these heartwarming tales, you'll see what happens when humans and animals that loved each other but parted ways got to reunite. These are animals that do not forget their owner after years. Number 15. Lioness sees her adoptive dad after seven years. They say that dogs are a man's best friend and they're not wrong, but sometimes a human and a slightly bigger creature than a dog can create a very deep and beautiful bond. And when I say slightly bigger, I also mean extremely more powerful and dangerous, too. Meet Adolfo and his best friend, Kiara, a fully grown lioness. Their story started when Adolfo adopted Kiara when she was only a little cub. They lived a very happy life in Mexico until a ban on exotic circus animals was implemented in 2014 in the country, and Adolfo had to give Kiara up. She then moved to an animal sanctuary, and they couldn't see each other for a long time. But seven years later, he had the chance to visit his best friend again. <laughs> and even if everyone told him it was dangerous because she was a fully grown adult lioness now and might not remember him at all, they proved the world wrong when, at the moment of the reunion, she jumped into his arms in full cuddle mode. She recognizes her human father instantly, and after a few minutes of emotional cuddles, they go into playtime. She starts goofing around just like a little cub around Adolfo, but this time she's, let's say, a lot bigger than she was before. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Dog whines with joy, seeing owner after three years. If you've ever had a dog, then you know that the bond between an owner and its pet can be so deep that it's hard to put into words. Now imagine you lost your beloved dog and that someone found him three years later, 500 miles away. Mike had lost his best friend Jack, a Siberian Husky, while on a walk in the countryside, and since then, neither had been the same. They were both extremely sad and depressed without the other. But one day, when Mike had already lost all hope a couple of years back, he received the most unexpected call of his life. It was the best thing I've seen in about four years, so what all I can say about that. The man on the other side of the line was sure to have found his beloved Jack. But Mike wasn't about to get his hopes up for nothing, so just to be super sure, he asked the man at the shelter if the dog had one eye that was brown and blue, the left eye, and he also asked if one of the dog's front paws had a completely black nail. The nice man went to check, and it turns out that, in fact, the Siberian Husky was, in fact, Jack. Number 13. Original owner surprises hyena on its four-year-old birthday. Jake the hyena was born in captivity in a zoo, so he never had the chance to be wild in the African savanna. He started his life in Animal Kingdom in New Jersey, but Brian Hahn, a civilian, decided to buy Jake from the zoo when he was just a little six-week-old cub. And thank God Brian did so, because the zoo burned down three times in a row. And if Jake would have still been there, he probably would have died a horrific death. But when Jake became an adult, Brian had to give him up on account of his size and strength. And that's when he was accepted by the Octagon Wildlife Sanctuary. Four long years passed until they could finally be reunited on Jake's fourth birthday when Brian paid him a surprise visit. Look how happy they both are. Jake did not forget his human father, that's for sure. This is an extremely rare and surprising behavior for a hyena. They're not usually very loving with our species. But love is bigger and stronger for Brian and Jake the hyena. Number 12. Lost dog living on the streets reunited with its owner. In 2015, Georgie lost his dog named George, and he looked absolutely everywhere for his missing best friend. He even knocked on every neighbor's door to ask them to keep an eye out for his beloved dog. But everything was in vain, as George seemed to have just vanished from the face of the earth. 
Days turned into months and months into years, and still no news from George. But then a miracle happened. A crew working at a shop in a local town one day saw a dog that perfectly matched George's description. But this dog was tagged by the city, which meant that this dog was a stray. But without losing hope and convinced that this was, in fact, George, they called Georgie anyway to let him know the whereabouts of the dog. And naturally, Georgie rushed over to check it out for himself. And what do you know? This was, in fact, his long-lost pet that immediately recognized his owner and started crying desperately out of joy. George had spent three long years fending for himself in the cold streets without a kind hand to pet him. But now he was safe again, and nothing could ever separate these two now. Number 11. Everyone warned him not to meet the gorilla he raised. Gorillas are amazing creatures. They are strong, intelligent, and massively powerful. I mean, they are our distant cousins, after all. But a wild male gorilla can be very dangerous to a human on account of their temperament and strength. That's what everyone told Damien Aspinall, a millionaire entrepreneur and conservationist, when he decided to go pay a visit to his old friend, Kuibi. He met Kuibi, an African gorilla, when he was just an infant, and Damien took care of them until he was ready to be released into the jungle again in the country of Gabon. But five years later, when Damien went to meet Kuibi again, everyone was terrified about the potential bad outcome of the reunion, especially because Kuibi had viciously attacked the last two people he had encountered. But Damien had high hopes, and he was certain that his friend would recognize him and come to him. I'm certain now, I'm gonna get out of here. After hours of searching for him in the dense jungle, a massive gorilla answered the call and, what do you know, it was Kuibi. They started by touching each other's heads, and then the cuddles came. Everyone was left in tears. What a sweet reunion. They both looked into each other's eyes and played for a while until it was time to go. Number 10. Russian couple adopted an orphaned bear 23 years ago, and they still live together. Now, bears can be extremely cute as stuffed animals. Every child has one. But in real life, they are not so cuddly. They are huge, insanely strong, bad-tempered, and apex predators that would not hesitate to attack a human being if necessary. And when that happens, needless to say, the bear usually wins. We don't have powerful claws after all, and they do. But what happens when a baby bear gets rescued and adopted by a family? Meet Svetlana and Yuri, the proud human parents of this 200 kilogram bear named Stepan. Stepan was found by hunters in a Russian forest when he was a little cub. He was very weak and alone. It's believed that his mother got killed and he was a lost orphan. So his new parents nurtured him back to health until he was big and strong. And now it is 23 years later and Stepan still lives with them. He is an absolute goofball and even helps out around the house by watering the plants and such. His favorite pastime? To watch TV cuddling on the couch with his human. He's very good with people and with children. He's a very sociable bear. Some people might find him a little intimidating, and I mean, who can blame him? But in reality, he is extremely gentle and sweet. Number 9. Rescued Cheetah sends everyone into tears after seeing his adoptive dad. Meet Gabriel, an abandoned cheetah that got rescued by a very kind staff member at the Cheetah Experience Center in South Africa named Dolph C. Volker. Dolph nursed Gabriel back to health, and the two of them developed a very deep bond, not unlike father and son in a way. Gabriel certainly wasn't the only cheetah that Dolph took care of during his time at the center, but their bond was somehow more special and unique than with any other of the furry felines there. Maybe one of the influencing factors was that Gabriel the cheetah had several medical conditions that required around-the-clock care, and so they had to spend a lot of time together. Good boy, Gabe. Good boy. 
but fate was not on their side when it decided that Dolph had to move back to the United States for official reasons. But after a long year, Dolph had the chance to go back to South Africa to reunite with his feline son. And what'll happen next will break your heart into a million pieces. As soon as Gabriel saw Dolph, he started sprinting in his direction at an alarming speed. They are, after all, the fastest animals on Earth. And Gabriel simply jumped and hugged his buddy Dolph and started licking his face all over. Just like a cat, only bigger and, you know, a bit more dangerous. Number 8. Horse found on Craigslist recognizes his first mom. Miko was a horse that was being held at the holding area for wild horses, and apparently everyone working there was too busy to help him, as he showed some behavioral issues and didn't seem to trust anybody. But that all changed when Emma locked eyes with Miko. They instantly felt comfortable with each other, his ears perked up, and she smiled at the same time. When Miko got adopted by a ranch, Emma went to visit him every single week, and after a few visits, he even let her touch him, which is a huge step for a wild horse. But one time, she couldn't find Miko anywhere, and when she asked, they told her that they sold him because he was too much work. Emma asked around desperately for months, but nobody seemed to know where Miko had gone. She thought they would never cross paths again. But then, two long years later, Emma got an email from a friend of hers. It was a Craigslist ad for a horse, and it looked a lot like Miko. After a long 12-hour drive, she finally got to the location where Miko was, but she had no idea what he had been through or if he would even recognize her. But as soon as she walked into his stable, the horse immediately put his head on her chest, and they haven't been apart since. Number 7. Lion Reunites with His Human Mother Meet Jupiter the Lion. His story is a very sad one, so honest disclaimer, you might shed a tear or two. Jupiter was rescued when he was very young from a circus where he was being severely abused in Colombia. He was saved by a woman named Anna Julia who nursed him back to health with a very sweet maternal instinct. But as Jupiter was a fully grown adult lion and Anna Julia didn't have the proper documentation for keeping an exotic animal, in 2019 he was taken from her arms and ended up being transported to a Colombian zoo. Oh, but years later, she caught word that her lion friend wasn't doing well at all. He had lost half his body weight and couldn't move anymore because he was so weak from not eating properly. That's when the authorities took matters into their own hands. The attorney general opened an animal cruelty inquiry, and Jupiter was transported to another zoo in Cali where he would be closer to his human mother. And at their first time seeing each other again after so much time apart, they recognized each other instantly. Jupiter hadn't moved for days prior. He was severely depressed. But at the first sight of Anna Julia, he stood up and started licking her face. That is why Jupiter has been dubbed the Kissing Lion. Number 6. Reunion After 18 Years of Separation it isn't news that we use animals for a lot of different kinds of experiments. And whether you agree or not with this method, nobody can deny it isn't easy on the animals that are enduring hundreds of experiments and are bound to live in a cage inside a lab for their entire lives, never seeing the sunlight or even touching grass. In this case, these two gorgeous chimpanzees were rescued from a hepatitis research lab because they were no longer needed due to the discovery of the vaccine. Linda Kobner, an animal behaviorist, saved the two chimps named Doll and Swing and took them to a sanctuary where they could live peacefully for the rest of their lives in the outdoors. She spent every single day with them for four years, but eventually Linda had to go. She was a very busy woman and other animals around the world needed her help, so she sadly had to say goodbye to her eight friends and go save more animals. Two long decades passed until they could all be reunited, but the chimps, being as smart and sweet as they are, recognized her instantly even after 20 years of not having seen her. They were both now adult chimps, but they can never forget the face of the one who gave them a second chance in life. Number 5. Jinjing the Penguin 
Jingjing Jing is a South American Magellanic penguin, and he's a very special little creature. When Jingjing Jing was just a little nestling, he went into the water when it was full of oil, and when a bird gets oil in its feathers, it's most likely they will die. But luckily for Jingjing, Jing, a 73-year-old part-time fisherman named Joao Pereira de Souza was in the area that day, and when he saw the little penguin chick, he instantly went to its rescue. This happened in a little island village just outside of Rio de Janeiro in Brazil, where Joao actually lives. He picked up Jin Jing and cleaned the oil off his feathers. And not only that, but he fed him mashed fish for days until the bird would feel strong enough again to return to the wild. And so he did. And today, Jin Jing is a fully grown adult penguin, but he never forgot the kindness that that fisherman showed him, and the reason why he's still alive. And so every year, when the South American Magellanic penguins migrate to their breeding grounds, Jin Jing travels 5,000 miles to go pay a visit to the man that saved his life. They spend the day together goofing around on the beach, and when the sun starts to set, Jin Jing leaves to be reunited with his kind. Number 4 Man Saves a Dying Wolf and Her Cubs In 1941 in Alaska, a man set off to look for some gold, but he saw something strange behind some trees. As he was getting closer, he realized it was a massive wolf and that it was caught in a trap and couldn't escape the metal teeth. He noticed that it was a female wolf because her nipples were swollen, which also meant that there was probably a litter nearby waiting for their mother. The man decided to go look for the cubs. He finally found the den, and thankfully, the babies were still alive, but evidently very hungry. He took his leather bag meant for the gold and placed all the cubs inside to take them to where their mother was still trapped so they could feed on her milk. But the man knew she still didn't trust him, and if he released her, she would probably attack him. So he looked for a dead deer and began feeding her from a distance. He stayed several days until she trusted him enough to have him approach her and free her. And so he did, and he went back to his town. Four years later, when he was in the same area again, he heard a wolf howling, and he immediately recognized the mother wolf he had saved. And this time, her pups were grown, and they all came to say hello before returning to the mountains, never to be seen again. Number 3 Lion's Amazing Reaction After Seeing Woman Who Hand Reared Them this fantastic woman personally hand-reared two lion cubs into health. Once they were strong and big enough, she gave them to a zoo in Switzerland where they were to spend the rest of their days. They both spent a very healthy life at the outdoor zoo, but they never forgot their human mother even years after not seeing her. The day that the woman had a chance to visit her feline friends again, they were now fully grown and massive. But as soon as she approached the gate of their enclosure, both lions started running towards her and then simply jumped over to hug her over the fence. They both start licking her face all over and can't seem to be able to stop hugging her, and she hugs them back. They all seem ecstatic to see each other after such a long time, so much so that these two large lions are behaving like tiny little kittens all of a sudden, almost forgetting that they are alpha apex predators and one of the most powerful animals on Earth. Number 2 Squirrel Keeps Visiting Her Human Mother Months After Her Release Squirrels are so adorable and sweet, they can melt anyone's heart. And as most animal species, they're even cuter when they're babies. Take this woman who rescued a litter of baby squirrels eight years ago. The little creatures seemed to have lost their mother when they were all alone in the wild. So this woman nursed them back to health. All the squirrels were very wary of their human caregiver, all except one, Bella. She was the one that would allow the woman to even touch her. When Bella and her siblings were strong enough to go back to living outside, she released them on the trees nearby her house, hoping that nothing bad would ever happen to them. But little did she know, Bella had no intention of going very far, not without her new human mama. She keeps visiting her very often, almost every day. She comes to hang out and get some delicious nuts as well, and when she's had her dose of cuddles and treats, she hops back to the forest to do her squirrel business. Number 1. Elephant Reunites with Old Trainer 
It is very well known that elephants have an exceptional memory, and Christy the Asian elephant is no exception to that rule. When she was living at a zoo in Scotland where Peter Adamson worked in the early 70s and 80s, the two formed a very sweet friendship. He took care of her, fed her, and even talked to her sometimes. He was also her trainer, and they spent a lot of time together. But that zoo eventually closed, and Christy was moved to another zoo in Germany. 35 years later, Peter was in Germany visiting friends of his, and he found out that not only was Christy still alive, but that she was very nearby at the zoo. This was very unusual, given that she was now 52 years old, and usually elephants don't live that long. So Peter didn't hesitate for a second, and he contacted the zoo to see if a reunion could be organized. And they did. They welcomed Christy's old friend with open arms, and so did she. She recognized him instantly and started smelling him with her massive trunk. It was a very emotional reunion for both of them. Such a sweet moment. As you can see, no matter how big or dangerous a creature might be, love is love, and it can even break the inner species borders. It is the universal language, no matter who or what you are. But what about you? Have you ever befriended a wild animal? And if you haven't, which species would you like it to be? Tell us about it. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.